Hello, folks, and welcome back to Rugby Ascendant. This is Chris in central Pennsylvania, and the Free State Cheetahs overcome Saru disrespect. But I've got good news. So we're playing EPCR Challenge this year from December. South African Rugby Union, which has consistently dismissed and disregarded the Free State Cheetahs, well, they've overcome that. Five South African teams have been confirmed to play in two European professional club rugby competitions from next season. This according to Saru today, the 2nd of June, 2022. The Cheetahs make a return to European rugby after being unceremoniously dumped from Super Rugby back in 2017. And then they, after proving the concept of participating in Pro 14, which became the United Rugby Championship, the Cheetahs and the Southern Kings proved proof of concept that South African teams could play. In the first season, the Cheetahs went 12-9 and nine and went into the playoffs. They did less as well the second season, 8-12, and 12, and then unceremoniously dumped along with the Southern Kings, who subsequently went bankrupt to make room for the big four boys, the old boys club of the Western Province, the Bulls, the Sharks, and the Lions. Now, the Cheetahs will be join, joined once again, uh, this time by the Lions in the Challenge Cup in the 2022-2023 season. Meanwhile, the Bulls, Sharks, and Stormers will play in the Champions Cup next season after earning passage to the competition by finishing in the top eight of the United Rugby Championship this season. This was an open-ended question by many fans. Will South African sides get to compete in the Champions Cup? Well, in fact, the answer is they shall. The Bulls, Sharks, and Storms all finish in the top half and play off this weekend. They have playoff games this weekend. South African rugby has confirmed that the Cheetos will be taking part in the European Challenge Cup next season as South Africa's entry into the two major European tournaments was made official today. South African involvement in the top flight of Northern Hemisphere Club Rugby has received a massive boost with confirmation today that the four Vodacom URC teams and the Cheetahs will play in next season's two European professional knockout competitions, the Champions Cup and the Challenge Cup. Now, the showpiece final will take place on the 19th and 20th of May 2023 in Dublin at Aviva Stadium, the famed Aviva Stadium. Now, this comment from the CEO of South African Rugby, our five franchise teams will now play in two new territories against opponents we've never played before, said Jury Rue, the embattled CEO of SA Rugby from his time back at Stellenbosch. Ever since we made the decision to align with the Northern Hemisphere, our aim was to play in the EPCR competitions, as we've seen during the inaugural season of the Vodacom URC, the rugby is of the highest standard, and our top players definitely benefit from this move. Well, I cannot disagree with that. Super Rugby was on its deathbed because of the poor management by the three rugby unions involved, and then a fourth one when Argentina came along, expanding from 12 teams to 14 teams to 18 to 15 to 18 teams was out of control, and it suffered from a lack of talent and scheduling conflicts. But Super Rugby is dead except for those uh, uh, in the land down under and the Calo Kiwis. Drew had the following to say, a big word of thanks also to the Cheetahs for their patience. I'm sure they can't wait to face international opposition again and are very grateful to have them in the EPCR. Hmm. He went on to say the first season of the URC has really been an eye opener for our teams, but it also presented a wonderful opportunity to our players to participate in a superb competition. Now, for those of us who follow the Cheetahs, we'll be rewarded with the likes, hopefully, of the ageless wonders of Franz Sten and his magic boot from a thousand yards away, as well as the ageless wonder scrum half Ruan Pinar and the former seven star Roscoe Speckman. All Cheetahs, hopefully, we'll see them playing next year in this competition. There you have it, folks. The Cheetahs are back. They're back, baby. That's right. The Cheetahs are back after being disrespected and dumped from Super Rugby when it downsized. We played in Super Four, Super 16, then we played in Pro 14. In 2017, and then being dumped after going through the trouble of handling the proof of concept, proving that South African sides could make the trip to Europe and compete successfully in that competition. They were dumped from that to favor the old boys club of Western Province, the Bulls, the Sharks, and the Lions. But they're back next season. Congratulations to the Cheetahs. Well done. They've run over the competition with the exception of a game that they shockingly lost to the Greek was recently. They were undefeated 
but now they have one loss on the log and they're still competing for the top spot in Curry Cup this season. Cheetahs are back in it, folks. They're back in it. Congratulations to folks in the free state and any Cheetahs fans out there. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Rugby Senate. This is Chris from Central Pennsylvania. Take care.